Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, isosceles uh, triangle ABC fully inscribed uh, in a circle uh, with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this side length uh, AC is uh, 17 units. And likewise, uh, this side length uh, BC is uh, 17 as well. And this uh, side length uh, AB is uh, 16 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please uh, watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. If a radius uh, of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. As you can see in this uh, next step, we have dropped this perpendicular CP that passes through the center O. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, AP must be equal to this segment uh, BP. And since uh, these segments uh, are uh, equal, uh, in length and total uh, this uh, chord is 16 so therefore this segment has got to be 8 and this segment is 8 as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, APC and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to figure out uh, this side length uh, CP and here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 17. And this uh, side length uh, is uh, 8. And now we are going to calculate uh, this side length uh, CP. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, CP square plus uh, 8 square equal to 17 square. So let's simplify furthermore, CP square plus 64 equals to 289. Let's subtract 64 from both sides, this is gone. So therefore, CP square turns out to be 225. Let's undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore, our CP length turns out to be 15 units so therefore our this uh, cp length turns out to be 15 and here's our next step i have connected uh, this center o with this uh, point uh, a and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, apo and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, apo and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, ao and this uh, CO are the radii of this uh, very same circle. So therefore, I'm going to label this one lowercase r, and this is going to be lowercase r as well. And now we can see that this uh, whole uh, CP length uh, is uh, 15, and this uh, CO is the radius r. So therefore, uh, this uh, OP length is going to be 15 minus uh, r. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem uh, on this uh, triangle uh, APO whose uh, side lengths are uh, lowercase r, 15 minus r, and uh, 8. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, r. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 15 minus r whole uh, square plus uh, 8 square equal to r square. And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, identity, a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial on the left hand side. So therefore, we are going to have a 225 minus 30r plus uh, r square plus 8 square is uh, 64 equal to r square and now we can see r square and r square they are gone and now we are going to combine uh, these like terms so therefore we got uh, 289 minus uh, 30 
r equal to 0. Let me move uh, this uh, 30 r on the other side. So therefore, we got uh, 30 times r equals to 289. Let me divide both sides by 30 to isolate r. So this 30 and 30 is gone. So therefore, uh, our uh, radius r turns out to be 289 divided by 30 units. So thus the radius uh, of this circle turns out to be 289 divided by 30 units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 9.63 units. And now let me share with you the second uh, method. And here's our next step. I have extended uh, this uh, CP all the way to point uh, D. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, CD is the diameter of this uh, circle. Diameter means uh, this length is going to be 2 times R. And we know that this uh, CP length uh, is uh, 15. So therefore, uh, this remaining uh, segment uh, PD is going to be 2R minus 15. So I can write down 2R minus 15. So therefore, uh, this uh, segment uh, PD is uh, 2R minus 15. And now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two chords intersect in a circle, uh, then the product uh, of the measures of the segments of the chords uh, are uh, equal as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we got uh, these two chords uh, AC and BD that intersect uh, each other. And as a result we got this segment uh, A times B is going to be equal to this segment uh, C times uh, D. As you can see in this uh, equation A times B equal to C times uh, D. Now let's revert our attention back to our this uh, problem. And here we got uh, these two chords uh, A, B and uh, C, D that intersect each other at this point uh, P. So therefore I'm going to call uh, this segment uh, A, this segment uh, B, this segment uh, C and finally this segment uh, D. So therefore we can write uh, this one as 15 times uh, 2R minus uh, 15 is going to be equal to 8 uh, times uh, 8. And now we are going to distribute uh, 15. So therefore we are going to get uh, 30 times uh, R minus uh, 225 uh, equals to 64. Let's add uh, 225 on both sides. So this cancels out. So therefore 30 times R turns out to be equal to 289 on the right hand side. Let's divide 30 on both sides to isolate R. So this 30 and 30 is gone. So therefore our radius R turns out to be 289 divided by 30 units. So thus the radius uh, of this circle turns out to be 289 divided by 30 units by using the second uh, method as well. And that is going to be approximately equal to 9.63 units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.